Jamie Dempsey, and I'm on a journey to Batanas, one of the most beautiful provinces of the Philippines. There, I hope to experience the unique culture of the Ivatan tribe, a people whose origins are still shrouded in mystery. Getting there means a journey of over 1,500 kilometers, over mountains, across the waves, and through the skies. On this leg of my journey, I make my way to Shargao to catch a wave on cloud nine, swim through a lagoon filled with huge jellyfish, and later get pulled into a beauty queen boot camp. My bike and I are taking the Roro from Kemigin back to mainland Mindanao. From Baling Oem Port, it's a five-hour ride to Surigao, one of Mindanao's oldest port towns, where I hope to do some wreck diving. Japanese shipwrecks in Surigao, so I've arrived here to find out a little bit more about them and maybe, possibly, do a little wreck diving. Hello! Hi! Welcome to the Battle of Surigao Strait Museum, Jamie. You must be Sir Jake. Yes, I'm Jake. Thank yeah. you. I came to your museum because I heard you are the authority on Surigao Strait, on the battle, and I'd like to find out more about it. Well, I'm pleased that you're here. Let me introduce to you where Surigao Strait is. Surigao Strait is the body of water separating the islands of Leyte and Mindanao. I've and been to Leyte. I was yes, there last year. I was actually at the landing where General MacArthur that's fulfilled his Palo promise. Leite. Yeah, he came Palo back. Leyte is right over there. Oh, okay. That's and where And that's I was. also the reason why all of this happened, because the Japanese were trying to uh, stop MacArthur from landing. Mm. On this side, you'll find one of the frames where you'll find MacArthur and then President Frank Delano Roosevelt talking about the return to the Philippines. MacArthur leaving a promise back in 1942 when he landed in Australia after escaping the Philippines where he said, I shall return. So what do we have here? This is an actual Type 91 Japanese aerial torpedo. It's huge. This is the only one I know of that still displayed as whole and the only Type 91 torpedo used in an actual battle, fired in an actual battle, but and I did not hit this target. So would it be possible for me to dive these wrecks? These particular wrecks are too deep. They're at 200 meters or 660 feet deep. And the waters in Surigao Strait are too fast. Mm. So you might survive the dive going in or going through these ships, but I can assure you that you'll be alive when you get out. <laughs> I don't want to take that chance. There are shallower wrecks in other parts of the country, like in Coron. Okay, Coron. Um, okay, I can make should, my way there. Yeah, and, I uh, really want to dive wrecks. some wrecks. So yeah. the wrecks there are preserved. Yes, and I think it would be really exciting to go underwater and see. Great, them. good luck. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going to Coron to see some Japanese shipwrecks underwater. Koron is on the island of Palawan, far in the west. So I need to get to the airport in Shargao. From there, it's a quick skyjet flight to Palawan and on to some wreck diving. Shergao, the surfing capital of the Philippines, and I have a feeling later I'll be testing out my balance. I 
I ride for the town of General Luna on the east coast of Chargal. It's home to some of the world's most famous waves at the legendary Cloud Nine. So many surfers from so many countries come here to ride those waves that this tiny town has nearly 100 accommodation options for visitors. I just arrived in General Luna, the surf town of Chargal, but I had to stop first and check out what all this smoke was about. It looks like they're burning coconuts. Hi, excuse me, what is this? Panda coco, Panda coco, like coconut bread. Can I buy two? Looks delicious. That's for you, thank you. Thank you, Salamat. Fresh out of the oven. Ow! And a little too hot to eat just yet. I'll have to hold on to them. I love coconuts. In fact, my last meal would definitely contain coconuts. And this bread is full of it. It's all inside. Sweet and delicious and right out of the oven. I'm really glad I stopped. It's time to pack up my panda coco and get some drinks to wash these down with. I never really could get the hang of surfing. Whales have always been more my thing than waves. But I made an appointment with a local surf champ in hopes that she can maybe get me standing on the board at least once today. Easily accessed from a long pier, Cloud9 is where surfers of all levels converge. The ocean swells coming straight in from the Pacific ensure excellent surfing conditions throughout most of the year. It looks a little daunting from here, and all those guys look like seasoned pros. But this is a surfing capital of the Philippines. I really should get out there and try and catch at least one wave. Hi, are you Nildi? Hi, good morning, yeah. Hi, I'm Jamie. Hi, Nildi, nice meeting nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you so much for meeting me here and teaching me, giving me a lesson. Yeah, I hope it's... I can do good. Yeah, for sure, and I'm excited also. <laughs> yeah. So, well, how do we do this? What's the first step? First, we're gonna do on a basic um, um, doing it on the board. So it's better to do it in the surface than in the water because then it's easier. Okay. So first, I have to know which stance you're gonna you, you are. So I you're regular. Is, yeah, regular. Okay, then that's how I snowboard. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it will be the same on the on the board too. So what we can do, we have to lay down on the on the sun. Okay. Yeah. And then the right position to do it, it's like this. So arc your back a little bit. Then when you paddle, you just have to stretch that much and then deeper, right? So it's different when you're in the water. And then when you pop up, you have to put on the side, then it's easier to do like that. Because okay. once you're gonna put a little bit more on the top, then you it's cannot do much. Right? Yeah. So here mm -hmm. it's easier, you can do it really fast, right? Okay. So that's the difference. Then since you're a regular porter, so all you have to do is twist it and you can like pop this, up, twist it this. a little bit and yeah. Then you have to lift, you have to bend, you don't have to stand, otherwise you lost balance, right? right? So bend. Yeah, bend. Okay, Nildi, I'll get suited up. I'm sure you will do well, so I'm sure if, if, uh, you got to get a good ride. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Wish me luck. The waves aren't too big, I hope. No, it's really <laughs> fun, it should be fun. It's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> She's very ready. I'm totally nervous, but totally ready. Ready for rock and roll.
completely gave up on surfing, but Milby helped me get up on my very first wave. In fact, just about every wave except for one that got away from me. Uh, that was an amazing feeling. I feel nothing but happiness and pride. And super grateful to Milby. Thank you so much. Congrats, Jane. Thank you for sharing the time. And also, you can go to Sugba Lagoon to have a paddle boarding day there, and you can meet my friend, Mai Mai. Super fun. Yeah, yeah. And it, yeah it's going to be a perfect time, too. That sounds great. Thank you. But first, you need to relax. That was exhausting. <laughs> The next morning, I head to the port of Del Carmen, 40 minutes northwest of General Luna. There, I meet Nildi's friend, hey, Mai Mai. Hi, Mai Mai. Mai Mai has promised to take me to the most beautiful part of Shergao, Sugba Lagoon. But first, we have to find it, because it's hidden in the largest mangrove forest reserve in Mindanao. This cabin in the mangroves is the base for anyone wanting to explore Sugba Lagoon. Come. That is a lot of food, thank you. Oh my god, I can't even imagine what it's like to grow up here because I grew up in a city so I'm surrounded by tall buildings mm -hmm. and busy traffic all the time yeah. but this is just serene and beautiful. What's it like to grow up here? Kids used to play outside in the morning, like not some other kids that lives in the city. They're gonna turn on the TV and use their phones. Yeah, and yeah that's what I'm some, used to seeing. Yeah. Kids are learning to surf. That's what you do in Shargao, surf and like paddleboard, longboarding, a lot of style and passion here. Well, they were beautiful coming in and this area is amazing. Great spot to have lunch. Lagoon is home to a ton of jellyfish. Cut off from the outside world in their own little paradise, somehow they've lost their stings and are perfectly safe to swim with.
it's my last afternoon in Shergao, and I've had an awesome time. Paddle boarding, trying Panda Coco, learning how to surf, and now I found the absolute perfect spot for a sunset. All I need is a drink, and maybe someone to share it with. Hi guys, do you mind if I join you? Oh yeah, Just... sure. Hi. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. My name's Jamie. Hi, I'm Hello, Dominique. Jamie. Dominique, <laughs> yes. Javi, nice to nice meet to you. Nice to meet you, Jamie. Jamie. So are you two travelers like me, or do you live here? We live here. We live here, this is our home now. Really, where yeah. are you from originally? I'm from Manila. And Javi? Barcelona. 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 <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been here? Two years now. Two years already? Mm -hmm. That's a long time. Have you seen any changes or has it always been like this? There's been a lot more people yeah. lately, especially, and then... More plastic. More trash. More also. trash, yeah. yes. Well, I certainly love it here. It's beautiful. I've only been here two days and I would love to stay. You should then. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'm very inspired too, especially hearing about you staying already, but... I made a promise to myself to do some wreck diving in Palawan, so that's my next destination. That's gonna be awesome. Palawan is beautiful. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. Well, this sunset is amazing. Amazing. I really beautiful. Love it. It is. Thank you for letting me share it with you. No worries. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Signing off as the sun sets here in Shigao. See you next time in Palawan. From Shargao, I'm taking a flight 800 kilometers west to the island of Palawan, where, as fate would have it, I arrived just in time for fiesta. The Baragatan Festival is held every June and lasts a good two weeks of the month. During this time, all of Palawan's municipalities come together to celebrate with parades, exhibitions, trade fairs, and beauty pageants. I'm riding to the center of Puerto Princesa to have a bit of a look around. With the fiesta spirit in the air, who knows what I'll find? Oh and my it's gosh. a close rehearsal for the talent competition. I, I'm sorry. I That's was okay, just, I, I wanted to get a closer look. Everybody looks so beautiful. Oh, it's okay. Maybe a tall girl like you could be a beauty queen. No, I don't you think so. You have to so. give it a try. <laughs> you have to give it a try. I'll call somebody who could give you details on how to be a beauty queen. It's 101 really? Beauty Queen. Three and... Jamie. This is Sri. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She's from Palawan and from the Philippines. Well, I can totally believe it. You are beautiful. Thank you very much. So, you want to be a beauty queen, right? Like in one day, just like in Palawan, experience it. Come on. Okay, come on, just come on. just for fun. Yes. Okay, just for fun. Yes, you have to try it. Ah, uh, I don't know about this. Really? You'll be fine. Oh, You're in good oh my gosh. What have I gotten myself into? I I don't know, stage fright, stage fright. <laughs> yeah. You can do this, you can do this. So, as you know, in the Philippines, beauty pageants here are really big. I noticed that. Yeah, it's like basketball in the US. Like, <laughs> a beauty queens, like, they train like athletes every single day for the walk, for the poses, for question and answer portion, yeah. everything. So I'm just gonna like show you some basic, the, the glimpse of how to do the poses, the walk, and how you introduce yourself. In okay, well I'm in my motorcycle clothes, so I hope that that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. We'll just teach you that first. Okay. And afterwards, we can do something about that. Um. <laughs> you, you, you'll love it. You'll One love step it. at a time. One step at a time. <laughs> so now, we have the Mutianum Palawan candidates for this year. They will show you the basic pose. Okay. Okay, girls, like show Jamie the the standard pose. Oh, they're all okay. So the they're standard pose, different. so you stand straight. Straight. And then it's like an L, like your foot. No, this one. <laughs> this one. Yeah. 
Like you form a letter L. Like this oh, like one. this? Yeah, like that. And then straight. Straight, straight. straight. Put your hand on your waist. <laughs> so that's the basic pose. Okay. And that. Miss El Nido right here, she will teach you the basic walk. The basic walk, okay. okay. Let's so, see. So do the basic pose again. Okay, so that's like that. That basic pose. And then you move this one forward and then it needs to be extended. And then you do the pose again. I feel silly. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, so basic pose. Then you do the turn. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh my god, they're gonna make so much fun of me back home. You have to do it one more time with hips. With hips? With hips. Okay. Like the hips needs to move like that. Ah, I got this. <laughs> Jamie Dempsey, 21, Los Angeles, California. Jamie, you're a natural. <laughs> you're a natural. It's fun! So now you know how to do the basic pose, the walk, introducing yourself. Now we are going to do your hair and makeup plus costume. What? To have the total look of a beauty queen. <laughs> All right, do what you will. I'm yours. Now, let's go backstage <laughs> and check the curls out. <laughs> So as you can see, this is really crazy. We have 17 uh, candidates fitting in this tiny little room. Yeah, tiny little <laughs> room, making their hair done, their costumes. Now let's try on some costumes on her. Yeah, I'd love that. She looks beautiful. I know. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hi. Oh, it's so nice seeing you here. You know, I'm so excited because I will help you putting all different clothes. And of course, you will feel how to become a beauty queen. <laughs> well, that sounds really exciting. That is right. Well, I guess it's time to play dress up and turn this tomboy into a beauty queen. But you guys can't watch. Get out of here. Shoe. Hi. Come on, go. See you later.